Welcome to Part 1 of Moving for Better Health and Lowering the Risk for Falls. This presentation has been developed by the Region 2 Northern Virginia Quality Council, James Madison University, and the Office of Integrated Health, Health Supports Network at the Virginia Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Services, also known as DBHDS. In this presentation, we are going to explain how moving your body can lead to better health. Moving your body can help keep your bones strong, your muscles strong, and your heart strong. The pictures shown on this slide give an example of strong bones, a healthy heart, and strong muscles. Did you know? Moving your body also can help you lower your risk of being overweight getting sick or becoming injured. The pictures shown on this slide are of a person who is coughing from being sick, a person who has become injured from falling down the stairs, and a person who has gained a lot of weight. Moving your body can improve your balance, your flexibility, and your mood. The pictures on this slide show a woman balancing on one leg with the help of her friend. A fitness trainer demonstrating how the body can be flexible, and a group of smiling friends who are happy to see one another. Moving your body can also lead to a more active life. The pictures on this slide show a group of friends taking a Tai Chi class, and a group of young men playing touch football. A more active life can lead to a more healthy life. The pictures on this slide show a young lady getting to meet and pet a horse, a group of friends going bowling together, and two people taking a walk together in the park. All types of movement can help keep your body healthy and strong, like standing and walking and bending and squatting and kneeling. The pictures shown on this slide are of two friends taking a walk on a woodland path and a group of girlfriends exercising in the gym together. Choosing activities that get you moving is important for better health. The pictures shown on this slide are of people running a marathon race, a group of friends enjoying movement in their yoga class, and two friends learning a new dance. When your body is strong, you will be able to do more things that you like to do. The pictures show a young girl swimming with assistance from the lifeguards, a group of guys getting to meet their favorite superheroes, and two young ladies in the garden planting seedlings. Sitting too much can make you feel tired, weak, and sleepy. The three pictures on this slide shows a woman yawning with her hand over her mouth, a man snoring in bed asleep, and a girl holding her head from stress. It's important to limit your time sitting watching TV, using your cell phone, or computer tablet. The picture shows a big red X on a person sitting watching television with their feet up reclining, a woman looking at her cell phone, and a young man watching a show on his computer. Exercising more by going outside and trying new things can help you stay healthy. The three pictures show a green check mark next to a woman in a wheelchair with her young friend getting ready to race, a group of young men at a sporting event getting ready to play ball and friends having fun swimming in the pool. The less you move, the weaker your body gets. If your body gets too weak, you might not be able to do all the things you like. The three pictures show a young man needing extra help to get into his wheelchair, a man who just got out of bed and is struggling to stay awake, and a woman who is just sitting, watching everyone else be active. If your body gets too weak, you may also be at risk for a fall. The pictures show two men falling, unable to stop themselves. Falling can be scary. A fall can hurt. Falls can cause you to be injured. The pictures on this slide show how a person can get hurt after a fall. There is a person with their leg in a cast with crutches, a boy getting hurt falling down a hill outside, and a man falling on his back. Keeping your body moving. To stay strong, stay healthy, and lower your risk for a fall. These three pictures show how people stay healthy by moving their bodies. 
There are two ladies doing strengthening exercises, with hand weights. And a young man, also using hand weights, to strengthen his arm muscles. And two friends, stretching together, in their yoga class. Now we will take a short, one minute, movement break. Before going into part two. Ready. Set. Move. Part 2, Movement Equals Improvement A person-centered, decision-making process, empowering users to take action. The previous slides shared the importance of movement to improve your physical and emotional health, including reducing your fall risk. The next section will help you explore your interests, abilities, and activities that will get you up and moving. Instructions for Part 2 each slide will ask you a question. An example would be, do you like music? Or do you want to try step aerobics? Each slide will have words and pictures. There will be a brief explanation of each activity, as well as the shared benefits of each activity. Then a slight pause for you to respond. Yes, and give a thumbs up. Or use your communication device. Or no, by saying the word. Or shaking your head or using your hand. We have also provided a checklist for you or your caregiver to share your answers and to review later, moving you into action. Do you like music? Some people like to listen to music quietly. Others like to listen to louder music which makes them want to move their bodies. Please share if you like to listen to music. Yes or no. Do you want to try step aerobics? Step aerobics involves stepping up and down on a single bench. This is often done in a group setting. To music. This picture shows individuals stepping onto a bench which is low, medium, or high, and can be done with or without support. Step aerobics is enjoyed by people of all ages, and it can help individuals with osteoporosis to keep their bones strong. Step aerobics is good for your heart. It makes your muscles strong. It improves your balance and coordination by moving your arms and legs together. It helps with agility by learning to move safely from side to side. Please share if you might want to try step aerobics. Yes. Or no. Do you want to try chair aerobics? Chair aerobics is a seated activity which uses a chair for balance, that is good for your whole body, heart, and lungs. Chair aerobics is good for all ages, especially people who might fall often, or worry about their balance, or use a wheelchair. The picture shows individuals, working on flexibility by stretching their arms, and their core strength by making their tummy muscles strong. Please share. Do you want to try chair aerobics? Yes. Or no. Can you sit up without support? The picture shows individuals sitting on the floor and trying to reach over their heads without falling over. Activities can be done with or without support. Testing your abilities will identify if you need support to be successful in the activities you choose. Please share, can you sit without support? Yes or no.
Do you like exercise? There are many different types of exercise you can do with different equipment. The picture shows hand weights. Holding weights in your hands and bringing your hand to your shoulder will make your arm muscles strong. Holding a ball in both hands and twisting from side to side will make your tummy strong. Or using an exercise band by sitting in a chair. Put the band around your feet and stretching your knees out can strengthen your legs and hips. Please share, do you like to exercise? Yes. Or no. Do you want to try riding a horse? Horseback riding can be therapy or just for fun. It is good for your hips, your core tummy strength. It can help with head control and balance. The picture shows a person riding a horse, keeping their body straight and strong while sitting upright in the saddle. Did you know that the horse helps you with balance? Horseback riding is good for all ages and abilities, especially people with autism and cerebral palsy. Please share, do you want to try riding a horse? Yes. Or no. Would you like a strong, upper body? The picture shows a man and woman, attempting to do push-ups, to make their upper body muscles strong. Having a strong upper body, makes tasks easier, like helping with carrying the groceries, or lifting yourself from a sitting position, to a standing position. Please share, would you like a strong upper body? Yes. Or no? Do you like to play sports? The picture shows many different types of sports. Soccer. Baseball. Football. Tennis. And basketball. Playing a sport can be good for your body and mind. Please share. Do you like to play sports? Yes. Or no? Would you like to try table tennis? Table tennis, also known as ping pong, is a sport in which players hit a lightweight ball back and forth across a table using small rackets. It can be done standing or seated. The picture shows a person hitting the ball back over the net to the other player. Table tennis can be played by all ages and can be modified for all abilities. Table tennis is good for your hand, eye coordination, focus, and balance. Please share, would you like to try table tennis? Yes. Or no? Can you stand for 10 seconds by yourself without support? The picture shows a person standing with a 10 second timer. Keeping your body strong, to stand for 10 seconds, allows you to do many basic activities. Like reaching a cup in the cabinet. Or trying new activities, to increase your strength, balance, and coordination. Please share, can you stand for 10 seconds by yourself? Yes. Or no. Do you like to dance? Dancing is moving your body to music. Dance has many uses. It can express ideas or emotions. It releases energy. Or can make moving your body fun. The picture shows people, each doing their own dance moves to music. Dancing can be done by all ages, and can be done standing or seated. Dance can improve your strength, balance, coordination, and endurance. Dancing longer, before you need a break. Dance is also a fun activity to do with a friend and is good for your brain. Please share, do you like dance? Yes. Or no? Would you like to try drumming? Drumming uses sticks to keep the beat to music. Drumming uses movement, strength training, and coordination in one fun activity. The picture shows a group of people drumming together holding the sticks above their head. Drumming is fun for all ages, and can be done standing or seated. Often done as a group activity, but can be done by yourself. Drumming improves balance, strength, hand-eye coordination, and core strength. Please share, would you like to try drumming? Yes. 
or no? Do you need assistance to walk? The picture shows a person walking with a walker. Sharing your abilities with an activities instructor provides an opportunity for them to share specific activity options which match with your abilities. Please share. Do you walk with support? Yes. Or no? Do you like to play games? The picture shows people of all ages playing a parachute game. Some people are lifting the parachute up while others are running under it. Every person is smiling and showing they like the game. Please share. Do you like to play games? Yes. Or no? Do you want to try boxing? Boxing involves upper and lower body moves. Punching, dodging, and quick stepping. Sometimes boxing is done to music. The picture shows a person wearing boxing gloves and punching a black bag while listening to music. Boxing can be for all ages. It can be done standing, to work on balance and coordination, or seated, to work on your tummy muscles and arm muscle strength. It is a full body workout. Boxing helps with your mental focus. Please share. Do you want to try boxing? Yes. Or no? Do you need support to balance? The picture shows a person holding onto a chair for balance as she lifts one leg. It is okay if you need support to balance. Sharing your need for support allows the instructor to provide you the support you need with the use of a chair, the wall, or a buddy, while you try a new activity. Please share, do you need support to balance? Yes. Or no? Would you like to try biking? The picture shows a person pedaling on a stationary bike. As the person pedals, the video game bike on the screen moves down the road. The harder you pedal, the faster the bike on the screen moves. Biking on a stationary bike removes the need for balance. Some bikes have a seat belts to support your body. Biking can be done stationary or moving by all ages. Biking is great for your heart, lungs, leg strength, and your tummy. Please share. Do you want to try biking? Yes. Or no? Do you want to try chair yoga? Chair yoga is yoga that can be done laying down, sitting in a chair, or standing using a chair for support. The picture here shows 18 different yoga moves you can try with a chair. Chair yoga is for all ages. It helps with your balance, your flexibility, and circulation which is how your blood moves through your body. Please share, do you want to try chair yoga? Yes. Or no? Do you feel strong? The picture shows a person pulling an exercise band to the sky to make their arms strong. The stronger you feel, the more you can do. Please share, do you feel strong? Yes. Or no? Do you want to try group exercise? Exercising with a group can be a lot of fun. The picture shows a group of four people doing an exercise together. Each person is doing a different exercise to the best of their ability. You can exercise to the best of your ability too. Please share. Do you want to try group exercise? Yes. Or no? Do you want to try water aerobics? Water aerobics is doing fun exercises in water with or without supportive equipment. The picture shows people of all ages, and abilities doing exercises, using fun pool noodles. Exercising in the water is less stressful on your bones, joints, and muscles, but is great for balance and strength. Please share, do you want to try water aerobics? Yes. 
or no? Did you fall recently? Do you remember falling? Sharing with a caregiver or instructor when you fall is important. This way you can be checked over to make sure you are okay and didn't injure yourself. And to make sure it is safe to do activity today. Please share, did you fall recently? Yes. Or no? Do you like taking a walk outdoors? This picture shows a man and a little boy taking a walk in the woods. The man is using a walking stick to help with balance. Walking outdoors is a great way to enjoy nature and get some fresh air. It is good for your physical and mental health. Please share, do you like taking a walk outdoors? Yes. Or no? Do you want to try karate? Karate is an activity using punches and blocks with hands, arms and kicks. The picture shows an outdoor karate class. The people are working on their blocks while keeping their balance. Karate is a fun way to improve your balance, strength and ability to stand up straight. Karate is a great activity for all ages and can be done with or without balance support. Please share, do you want to try karate? Yes. Or no. Do you want to try Tai Chi? Tai Chi is performing moves that are called forms in a slow focused manner accompanied by deep breathing. The picture shows two people working on their balance while moving their arms slowly. Each posture flows into the next without pause, ensuring that your body is in constant motion. It is a gentle form of exercise and stretching for all ages. It is great for balance, strength, and body control. Please share, do you want to try Tai Chi? Yes. Or no? Do you want to try rock climbing? Rock climbing is a sport where people can climb up, down, or across on an indoor rock wall. The climber has a harness and is connected to ropes, which prevents them from falling. The picture shows a person reaching for a rock with their hand while stepping on rocks with their feet. Rock climbing can be done by people of all ages and abilities, including individuals with cerebral palsy using special equipment. You start on the ground and can climb as high as you feel comfortable. Rock climbing is great for your whole body and is a great confidence builder. Please share, do you want to try rock climbing? Yes. Or no? How do you find all these wonderful activities in your community? We have created a list of places in your community that may offer activities you want to try. You can find and download this list below the video on YouTube. These resources will also be shown on the following slides. Many of these places also offer online fitness videos and classes. Check them out to see if they are right for you. Resources from Empowerment 3, also known as E3. The Empowerment 3 Center, housed within JMU's Department of Kinesiology, seeks to empower families, professionals, and individuals through the vehicles of physical activity. One-to-one -one mentorship and social connection. Empowerment 3 is excited to partner with the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Services to offer face-to-face -face or virtual physical activity programs to help individuals with disabilities reduce their fall risk, as well as improve their overall physical and emotional health. We believe everybody deserves to move. The pictures shared on this slide are a few of the physical activity programs E3 offers. Programs are available to individuals ages 2 through 99. To learn more about Empowerment 3, you can visit their website at www.empowerment3.jmu.edu or call 540-568-4877 or email them at overcomingbarriers at jmu.edu. 
A list of activity resources in Northern Virginia Region 2. This list of resources in the Northern Virginia Region 2 area can be found under the YouTube video for download. We encourage you to check out all the activities offered in your community. The information in this video is for educational purposes only and does not substitute for medical advice. Always consult with your physician or other qualified healthcare provider before starting a fitness program to determine if it is right for your unique needs. The inclusion of a hypertext link to an external website is not intended as an endorsement of any product or service offered or referenced on the linked website, the organization sponsoring said website, or any views that might be expressed or referenced in the website. In conclusion, the Region 2 Quality Council of Northern Virginia would like to say thank you to their partners, the Office of Integrated Health, Health Supports Network, and James Madison University.